हॅलो एव्हरीबडी आय एम डॉक्टर सोनाली पवार फ्रॉम दादा पाटील महाविद्यालय कर्जत दिस इज माय व्हिडिओ लेक्चर फॉर बी एस एस वाय बी एस सी एफ वाय बी ए अँड एफ वाय बी कॉम स्टुडंट्स द टॉपिक ऑफ माय व्हिडिओ लेक्चर इज क्रिटिकल ॲप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द पोएम व्हेअर द माइंड इज विदाउट फिअर इट इज अ पोएम बाय रबींद्रनाथ टगोर so first see the introduction of the poet about poet as we have seen where the mind is without fear is a poem written by rabindranath tagore rabindranath tagore was a multifaceted personality this means he was a poet dramatist short story writer novelist and an educationist he was also a philosopher and a nation builder you must have listened his uh, institution about his institution shanti niketan do rabindranath tagore was not an active freedom fighter he uh, supported the national freedom struggle movement one example you must remember from the history that after jallianwala bag uh, massacre rabindranath tagore returned his <coughs> degree he uh, returned his sir award uh, back to british government in this way he was an educationist and a nation builder too rabindranath tagore has written his poetry in early period on nature love and in the next period on religion and philosophy so he is a multifaceted personality and a very important poet of modern india now his important work is gitanjali originally <clears throat> gitanjali is a uh, volume of poetry written in bengali and it was published in 1910 tagore himself translated gitanjali from bengali into english in 1912 This English version of Gitanjali has the introduction by W B Yeats. Gitanjali in English also awarded Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913. Now see the introduction of poem Where the mind is without fear is poem number 35 of the Gitanjali. As other poems in Gitanjali this poem is also a devotional poem. This poem is actually a simple prayer for his country that is India of pre-independence time means when India was struggling for the uh, freedom struggling for the freedom at that time this poem is written by Rabindranath Tagore Now see the summary of this poem The first stanza of the poem tells us where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls so these first uh, three poems tell us about the intention of the poet but see at the end the poet says that into that haven of freedom my father let my country awake means here the poet dreams of the world dreams of such a country where there is mind is fearless head is held high with self respect and knowledge must be free in such a country all will be equal and the poet praise god to make his india in such a manner then further he says to he prays to the god where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit again he expects from the god to make his country as <clears throat> there will be all equal 
This poet's dream world will have no color or caste discrimination. The people will not, the people, the regions, this country will not be broken up into fragments by the narrow domestic walls as religion, caste, color, etc. They all will be equal. In such a country, everybody will speak truth, work hard for perfection and keep dead habits away and have reasoning capacity and ever-widening thought. Means they think from the ever-widening thought and reasoning capacity and keep the dead habits uh, like the um, blind beliefs, superstitions away so that nobody will get pain in this heaven-like uh, free country. In the last stanza, the poet says that where the mind is laid forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action, into that haven of freedom, my father let my country awake. And here lies the conclusion of the poem. The poet prays God to make his country heaven, where people will enjoy freedom, fearlessness and self-respect. In short, the poet expects freedom, equality and fraternity in his country in future. Everybody in this country will rise above petty concerns and narrow prejudices. Everybody will live in this world of freedom of thought and action of every person will be based on truth. In short, here the poet expresses his reflective spirit. Conclusion at the end. In this poem, actually Rabindranath Tagore refers God as father. He never refers any country or religion. So this prayer can be for any country in any age. It is even relevant today. This poem has the context of freedom struggle and so this poem we can safely say that is a universal poem. Thank you.